In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the no module named request issue that's happening for PyCharm and Komodo Edit. Let's begin by fixing this issue on Komodo Edit. So I'll go ahead and I'll import the request. And when I save and run my application, you see we get the no module named request error. To fix this issue on Komodo Edit, first go ahead and click on your start button and then type Python. Right click on your Python application and click open file location. Once the new window appear, right click on your Python application again and go to file, open file location. Once you're in the folders, browse the one that says scripts and just verify that the pip file is there. You don't have to open it, you don't have to double click it. All you need to do here is copy the URL of where this script file is located. Next, open up your command prompt and use the command cd and then the path and press enter. This will bring you right into the path of the pip location. So if you type pip, you should see that you have a full set of pip commands. All you need to type here is actually the word pip install request just like this then press enter once it's installed you should see this uh, successful message right here just like that and you're all set let's head back into Komodo edit and see what works once you're back into your Komodo edit just simply try running your file again and you should see that the issue has been resolved for Komodo edit now let's head over to PyCharm to see how we can resolve the same issue. Now that I'm in PyCharm, I'll go ahead and import the request. Keep in mind that I fixed this issue already for Komodo on the same machine. But for PyCharm, it's a little bit different. If I run my program, you see that we get the same error again on PyCharm. For PyCharm, it's really simple. Go ahead and click on File. Go down to settings and find the name, the project name of your project. Mine is called uh, Weather App, as you can see right here. So uh, associate this name with your name and just click on the down arrow and find the project interpreter. So you should have both of these. You should have both of these um, in your project, but what you want to do is click on the plus button here. What you want to do is add the request and so just search requests, requests, and there it is. And then just click on the install package right here. You see uh, it's installing with this little twirling icon here. Once it's done, you get the screen successful message at the bottom. At this point, you're all set. Just close these windows out. You can close this one out if you want. All you got to do now is go back and run your application and you see that it runs just fine. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was helpful to you, why don't you return the favor and help us out by hitting the subscribe button. And also remember to share because there's possible someone else that needs um, to see this video as well. So you can help them out. If you liked it, go ahead and leave us a thumbs up. But uh, that's it. You have a great day.